guys, so obviously this wasn't on my list of video ideas when I first started this series, but you know, obvious events in the world have led me to make this episode of Wedding Wednesday. Um, I personally know two couples that have had to uh, postpone their wedding date. Uh, one of them is still getting married this month, but they're not doing their reception until the end of the year. So I'm very sympathetic because I can't imagine what planning for, I'm sure, you know, anywhere from six months to, you know, two years for this super special day to have to move it. Um, obviously, I understand why you have to move it, but that's still doesn't make it any easier. You know, this is the day that you look forward to your whole life and my heart goes out to all of these couples that have had to postpone these dates, but obviously us as a country, we're all very thankful for all of you doing it. So wedding planning with all of this going on, personally, I have, I've taken a pause because my wedding is in October. Um, so right now they're saying that should be fine. Um, but realistically, there's not enough of a way to tell yet. They just keep pushing, you know, the stay inside order back and back and back. So I've decided to take a pause for a couple months because I don't want to make more work for myself than I have to. I figure it's easier just to plan once than to plan, unplan, then replan. So I'm kind of just like waiting, you know, like monitoring the situation. Obviously, this is such a crazy time in the world and, you know, weddings um, are pretty small comparative to the fact that, you know, there are people that can't get help in hospitals and healthcare workers going out and going to the front lines and putting themselves right where all of us are trying to avoid. So obviously I understand that, you know, wedding planning is such a small part of the disappointments happening. Can you lay down? Can you lay down? <laughs> it's such a small part of the disappointments that are happening. But I did want to address it because, you know, it is a disappointment. And my heart goes out to all of the brides and grooms that have had to postpone their days, and I'm so sorry. Um, if any of you are in a similar situation as me, I would love any advice. Um, I personally am just really not sure what to do. Like I said, I'm just taking a, taking a break, taking a pause. As far as these videos go, um, I'm going to try and do some more um, with what I have done. But like I said, I'm, I'm taking a pause just because I really, you know, I haven't done anything more really. You know, like there's a couple more things I can talk about as far as, you know, what I have done. But... I had all these plans to, you know, bring my photographer in and, you know, do a video with her, you know, go to my florist and do videos with her, but it's just, you know, obviously the situation is what it is right now. All of you that are staying home, thank you so much. All of you that are going out there, you know, the grocery store workers, uh, nurses, doctors, uh, mailmen, uh, delivery people, we appreciate you so, so much. Literally, I can't imagine how they must feel going into work every day because I am scared when I have to go to the grocery store. Like, I'm scared to even go in the grocery store. So I am so thankful to everybody who is out there working so that we can stay home. But all of y'all just keep staying home, keep doing the thing. Um, I'm trying to knock out as much, you know, wedding content and just content in general as I can. You know, I'm running out of spots in my house, but <laughs> I think we all are. Any of my brides or grooms that I've had to postpone, um, I would actually love to know what your experience has been like um, as far as are the vendors being um, understanding? Has it been hard finding a date? Um, say you had to postpone your wedding like from March or April of this year, like are you able to find a date for 2020? Are you having to move to 2021? Um, I would love to know, so comment below. Again, my heart goes out to all of you who have had to move this special day. The Knot has actually set up a hotline that you can call. I'll put it in the description box. Um, just to kind of talk it out, see where to go from where you are in your situation. And to any of you that um, have you know, been misplaced in your work for a few months, um, or, you know, have gotten laid off. My heart goes out to you. Um, I can't imagine how you guys feel. Um, I know it's a really scary time and just know that 
I'm praying for you and sending you so much love and positivity. So yeah, I love all of you. I'm not sure when the next wedding Wednesday will be. Um, I'm sending all of you so much love and positivity through this weird, crazy time in our country, in the world. And love you guys.